grocery thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing empty. How are you? Doing pretty good. Dang, surreal. There's a surreal jacket. I'm telling you, I'm with you on that one. Just do a dollar piece. All right, and then this was on the same rack, two sweatpants. They, they were all there. I'm almost positive they were a dollar a piece. Yep, they were all in that round rack. Okay, so two dollars. And then this guy, little pot. Okay, pot. so kitchen, that's two. And how much is that press? Fifty, fifty cents. Okay, yeah, 12.50. 12.50, not a problem. There you all go. Right. The box. <laughs> I like it. Fair enough. That's what I've been doing all morning. Yes. Yeah, this man has to be out and everything. By uh, 15, so we've got 10 more days. And, uh, and then I'm helping him. He had to work today. And
something. Now that's a, that is a, a good new, almost a brand new fridge. I'll take both those uh, battery chargers. Yeah, did you, yeah, yeah they're nice. Chargers? Yeah. Let me ask Ray to see, see how much it was. Because I think they were, they told me to let them go easy. It go pretty good. Pretty good. He said, is that the million? I said, my God, you're right. I said, a dollar is a dollar. That's true. Right. It's a nice uh, cookie. It's a clock. It's pretty. Yeah, but, it's good. But, to... Okay, but I got to find the plug. The plug for the, the neon. For the neon. And That's the okay. plug is somewhere, but you but, but look the back of it because it shows you uh, right here, there. Right here mm -hmm. it shows you just like a oh. hello. So, this old Coca Cola. Uh, That's old, right? Yeah. I don't know if it'd be worth anything. That's what I told her I was doing. I, the people, I just having them make me an offer. That's a nice size. But he brought out a bunch of tools and stuff. What's that? Kodak. Kodak. Any, uh... Like I said, I d honey, we don't know this stuff. This, I mean, he's got a lot more stuff to come out tomorrow. And come right. Out. He, he had to go to work. He's up. Those for $10 a piece? Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. Lights. But he, Merle brought out some more before he left. At Harley Davidson. Oh, Harley Davidson. I just sit that up the road. There's a whole thing. You get the whole thing. I'm not taking that. I don't know what's in it. I don't know nothing about Coca Cola stuff. That's right. Did you? Yeah, they're really neat. Huh? They're cool looking. Coca Cola. But you, <laughs> you know how silver. Uh, it should be marked if it is. Let me take a look at it. Mm. I just wondered. Oh no. Look at that. That's a pretty nice looking spoon. Look at them. I don't think that's silver. Huh? I've never seen them like that. I know whenever silver like that, you get like, the, you polish, right. polish it up and stuff. See, you look at that. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'll actually take the whole bag. That'll be, I'm going to go home, polish it up, and see what it is. It doesn't look corroded or anything. It's pretty neat. Who knows, but... Can't leave it behind, you know. It might work. Hey, <laughs> it might work. All right, I think that I am 
ready to see if we can well, make a we deal. Know, okay, so we know that's that there, the right there. I told you ten a piece. Yes, ma'am. Okay, figure out whatever. You do fifty for all of it. Yeah. Fifty is good. Yeah. I think. Hey y'all, it is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. The video you just saw was me and my dad actually on a Friday around 9 o'clock going to a couple yard sales in our immediate area. We did super good on this stuff, what I'm about ready to show you. If you are new, welcome. This is a reselling channel where basically I buy stuff low and sell for market value on places like Facebook, Macari, and eBay. So without further ado, let's go take a look at the stuff we got. All right, so this stuff is everything we bought at those yard sales. That one yard sale was super, super good. A lot of old stuff. I didn't know a lot about the Coke stuff, and we'll go over that in a little bit, but I should have picked up a little bit more than I did. But let's go ahead and start off with the Harley Davidson stuff I picked up at that big yard sale. These are really good. These are actually um, vintage. This one's 1995 right there. This one's 1999. Now, it's funny because this one right there is a double stitch. And this one right there is a single stitch. So you see the difference there, double stitch, single stitch, both vintage, but usually the single stitch is an indication that it is a little bit older, but it's always it's always helpful when it has the date on it right there. And then the tag itself, um, I always look for the tag. If it's printed on there like this, like, you know, that would be printed on there, like a tagless thing, that usually indicates that it's modern. So that's why a lot of times when I'm flipping through and people are like, oh, that looked like a vintage shirt. If I'm seeing something that's printed right there, I'm usually just go ahead and pass and buy it. So two really good ones. This actually is a destination t-shirt on the back, Ocean State. Now this is not a like a 3D emblem or anything like that. So not super amount of money, but these usually can go between 15 to $25. This one, from Rhode Island and this is a really good looking one with the eagle I'm thinking look he's got a little sailor hat on I mean this is beautiful I'm thinking easy 25 bucks on that one this one not so much maybe about 10 then I did pick up some Harley Davidson sweatpants these are pretty decent again I think this is gonna be an older tag on it and so I'm definitely gonna to have to do my research on this but I also think that this is gonna be an older tag and these are cut at the bottom though so I'll have to go ahead and make sure I measure them correctly but these probably, some of these actually go for like 60 bucks. I don't think these are gonna go for that much money, but probably $15 a piece is what I said. And uh, this one actually is really nice. It's embroidered. It has the Harley Davidson like little drawstring things. And I think this is a newer tag actually. So not too bad there. I'm in like Harley Davidson area. We have bike weeks around here in Myrtle Beach, so I pick up a lot of Harley Davidson stuff. Any, actually, anytime I see some stuff for like less than $5, I usually always pick it up. Check this jacket out. Now, Sorel is a really good name brand when it comes to boots. I've never found one of their jackets, and this one was a pretty good find for $6. Right there, Sorel, extra large. It has a nice like corduroy thing. It's nice because it does have the hood attached to it, and this is a buttoned hood, so which means like it's removable, and so I'm really happy that it has it because I didn't know it was supposed to. And this is just one of those big like chore jackets or barn jackets, and it's in, you know, not great condition no holes in it though but you can see there's some major wear right there discoloration there was one just like this that sold for 68 dollars plus shipping i'm thinking 50 bucks on this one no problem and that will be listed very fast brand new board game sealed probably like 10 bucks this i picked up speed squares i always like picking up speed squares for some reason this one's from the company johnson level and tools and it is made in the united states that's why i picked it up and that thing goes for like 6.95 plus shipping I don't know anything about video games. I didn't grow up like playing video games. I don't play them now. It's just one of those things I wish I had more knowledge on. All right, then I was looking through like the little video games that he had. I don't know much about video games, but I did pick this up. This is a Pokemon 3DS game. And uh, so I scanned it and this one's worth like, you know, like 40, 50 bucks and it's pretty good. But when I opened it up and it has the, it has the stuff inside it for this. But when I open it up, it has this game in it, which is the heart gold version. The thing is, is that I do not know how to authenticate this. Now, the ones that are, I guess, the originals authentication, they go for like $97 to $100 or something crazy. And then there's remakes that go for 18. I literally know nothing about this. I have to YouTube it to figure this out, but I have no idea how to tell if this is real or fake. So who knows on that one, it could have been a big bust but uh, I'm thinking, you know, maybe a couple bucks on that. And then this is the Game Boy Advance. This does not work, as you could tell when I picked up, had a lot of corrosion back there. 
but it doesn't look awfully that bad. So what I'm gonna do is uh, clean it up, throw some batteries in it, see if it works. Even if it doesn't work, this thing still sells for like $30 in parts. And uh, then if it does work, it's like 70 bucks. I don't have the back piece on it, but that's not too bad. This is pretty neat. These are, the reason why I picked it up is I saw it said Japan. And what it is, is, is it's like little binoculars. How cool is that? Now, so uh, there's one sold for 19 free shipping. It's light, so we'll go first class. So probably $10 on that. And then the Xbox for parts. I don't have any cables for it. I'll probably throw it in a box and wait till I get some cables for it to see if it works. But for parts, it goes for like only 10 bucks. And these things are super heavy to ship. So not a whole bunch of money there. I actually, I left it and then went back for it because I was like, ah, it's an easy $10 for parts. So we'll see if that works or not. Then moving on, you saw me pick up a whole bunch of these just old spoons. Now they all are all marked and I've sold some old spoons before, but I have no idea about these things. I don't even add these into the how much I'm gonna make because I'm gonna go through them. I don't think any of them are actual real silver, but I think this one actually has a soul comp of like five bucks or something. And some of them are really nice. They have like stamped little stuff inside of it. I mean, look at that, that's a nice looking spoon, right? So I don't know, I'm thinking at least 20 bucks or 30 bucks in spoons, but I don't even add it in there because definitely a lot more research has to go into that. You did see me pick up the metal trays for the cocaines. These are made in the United States. That's the only reason why I picked them up. I have not done my research on these yet, but I'm hoping, you know, a couple bucks. That's why I picked it up right there. It's a made in the USA. Serving trays, uh, they're made of metal. There was a lot of Coca-Cola stuff there, and I know that some stuff goes for money for Coca-Cola, and a lot of it doesn't, so that's why I was kind of hesitant to pick these up. But for 50 bucks, you really couldn't go wrong with everything that I got. These are monster scores. So I live in an area where there's a lot of golf courses and golf carts are very prevalent. These are golf cart chargers. Hopefully they work. I'll probably end up be taking these to one of the shops around here to see if they do work. And if they do, this is an easy, easy hundred dollars a piece local sale or online. They can go anywhere between like 135 to 185. They are super heavy to ship though. This thing probably weighs about 30 pounds. So they're very heavy to ship, but sometimes these chargers can go always up to like 500 bucks, but you don't know if they work or not. If they don't work, even for parts, they go for about 50 bucks. So, and she sold them for $10 a piece. Then I got a plush. I got a Harley Davidson 1993 with the tag. Not too bad. Pig with the leather jacket. Cute. Then got the coca-cola uh, clock the only reason i picked this up double neon there's a neon right there and there's a neon in the inside now, i haven't tested this out but i do very well with double neon clocks anytime i ever see one i had a napa one i had a harley davidson one i had some other ones and they always sell on the low end i've never sold one if they work less than fifty dollars and i've actually sold them all the way up until like the hundreds of dollars so i like picking up these clocks i know the clock works because when i picked it up it had that battery in it and the clock actually works so i'm thinking the neon's gonna work i just got to get a plug for it then we did get one of these old crates now you saw there was a whole bunch there my dad actually picked up a pepsi crate that goes for like 30 to 40 bucks this one actually has a sole comp of 34 that's almost the exact same crate so it has the dividers in it and there was like four more of these we should have picked all these up because they go for about 30 to $40 plus shipping uh, easy. So this was kind of, we definitely overlooked those. I didn't think they were gonna have much value, but I was completely wrong. Now for the wild card is this thing. This is some sort of like beer drinking game, whiskey game, I have no idea, but it would be super cool in somebody's man cave or something. I haven't put batteries in it yet. I don't know if it works. It's in really good condition, so I'm thinking that it's going to work. There's no corrosion on the bottom of this thing. And I actually tried to find this on Google or eBay. I Google Lens did. I've done a little bit of research and I couldn't find it when I was there. So I just went and go ahead and picked it up anyway. Hopefully this thing works. I do not include this in the breakdown whatsoever. Uh, but I, I mean, I don't know. It could be worth 10 bucks. It could be worth $150. I have no idea. If you've ever seen one of these, comment down below what it is, what it does. I just got to throw some batteries in it, but it's, it takes like, like 10D batteries, which I'll have to go buy, which costs like $20 right there. So we'll see if this thing works. Hopefully it does. And uh, now we are going to go to the breakdown. So right there, that's everything that I buy to be a full-time eBay reseller. I do these videos so you can get there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I much appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I will always get you. 
on the next one.